So you'll notice I'm cutting a bunch of small boards. The reason is these are all the cutoffs from walls in the basement, first floor, miscellaneous blocking here and there. And we have our framer save it for stuff like this. Instead of wasting a whole two by four to do this, we're just reusing the material that was gonna go in the dumpster. All right, we're back in Prairie Village, Kansas for the Fine Home Building 2022 house. We're working on our exterior air and yep. water management details. We've talked about this a little bit before with our cantilevered sill detail sticking out to support that zip R and close off the bottom side of that poly ISO. Working our way up the wall though, we have this exterior exposed rafter detail that's a little bit time consuming. It's frankly. tricky, yeah. So to accomplish our air barrier, we're having to block and put zip bar in between each one of the rafters. It's a detail that's a little bit more difficult than average. So we went ahead and ripped all our zip bar to the width of our bay. We decided to go ahead with vertical blocking, but the reason we went with vertical was to get more nailing surface and we're relying on a tape joint between the existing wall sheeting and our roof sheeting. But it's a little bit more critical here because this is also where our air barrier is. So this is where our blocking is gonna be. And then our zip will go right to it. We'll nail this. Our rafter is right here. And then we will use the Huber liquid flash in that seam. And we like that detail because with the trim elements around it, we don't wanna use a tape because there's just too much, too much surface area being covered. So we're able to cut the nozzle exactly the width we want it. And it'll be a little slow, but you know, it's gonna, it's gonna get the job done and it's going to accomplish really one of the most important details on the house, which is controlling the air. So this is how we're gonna land it. This is just a nailer so that we have a way to secure our sheathing to the exterior. So I line it up with the nail line at three and a half on the inside. I don't want it to stick long up into the plane of the roof sheathing. And because it's just blocking, it's not super critical that it be perfect. It just can't be above the roof sheathing or it'll put a hump in it. So we'll do blocking on either side all the way down. And then when we install our zip R on the face or whatever sheathing you would need, in this case, we're using zip R for continuity of same process. Now I have something to nail that to just like we did at the top of the wall there. That gets us done here. We're gonna go back and put some of the zip R sheathing on on the uh, west side of the house above the bedrooms. These are exposed rafter tails for an architectural benefit. The client will see these every day. They'll have a tongue and groove ceiling, one by six car siding that goes all the way down to the back of the subfascia where we'll have our air gap, which is gonna allow the ventilation over the top. So before we put all of the effort into making this look like finished trim carpentry, we wanna start with a plumb rafter. So we're utilizing these little blocks to go ahead and hold things, bottom corner, top corner, square. So once we plumb this, with a little pressure back there, well, that's gonna take a lot of pressure. When Joe nails it down here, that's what's gonna hold it. So if you set the other side first, Joe, then that secures a point. I'll set this side. And then we just plumb other, every other one, because that's obviously already plumb. So then this side drops in, and then nail this side, we're plumb here. And we just keep going all the way across the wall. All the rafters get plumb, and now those exposed tails really serve the purpose that the architectural feature intends for them. Then we'll tape it to the boxing on the sidewall, and then it'll go right over to our zip roof sheeting. Liquid flash around the rafters, and that detail will then be complete. So that completes our air and water control for our ventilated over roof. What happens next is a little more convoluted than your typical build. Yeah. So make sure and check out our next videos here at the Prairie Village Fine Home Building 2022 house.